Tips on International Driving Tips on International Driving Once you have secured an international driver's permit or international driver's license, um, you are now legally allowed to drive in other countries. You should take note of different traffic rules and regulations in various countries. In our videos, we actually cover many different signs that you will see from different countries what they represent. And we also talk about the driving left-hand drive and right-hand drive. Below are some driving tips when you are ready to go overseas. Before going on a trip, research about your destination country driving rules and regulations. There may be several differences in the rules that you may be uh, acquainted with before leaving your countries. You want to make sure you understand their rules and their regulation. Legal driving age might be different in your country and other countries. Make sure that you check the minimum and maximum driving age in the country that you're going. There are countries that require special permit instead of tolls in order to drive on the highway. Driving on them without the permit could lead you to fine. So investigate all these things before going. In several countries, you are required to flash the lights or use the horn before overtaking another car or going around a corner. Also, some countries require you to use a horn for bike or pedestrian as soon as you see them. Yeah, not, not a loud uh, horn, but just a small honk on the horn just to warn the potential there's a car behind them. While renting a car overseas, be sure to have insurance. This will save you from legal and financial difficulties. Most policies issued in the United States have limited current country, uh, coverage to American drivers overseas for a certain time frame. So you have to look at your insurance policy. I mean, you can check before you leave your specific country and check with your insurance broker to find out if your policy covers. If not, you can look at picking up, you know, for if you're going for a month or two weeks or three weeks, some extra coverage. Um, they are also exemption, for instance, your personal policy will not be honored if you're going overseas or business. If your policy does not cover you in another country, you can get one from a third party provider or purchase one from the rental company. So the rental company you rent your vehicle may have policies for insurance to cover you there. In some countries, you will be driving on the opposite side of the road. This can be confusing at first. You should practice first on a less popular area before trying to go on the main business road. Uh, one of the rules of thumb, you know, especially if you're from driving all your life on the left-hand side and going to the right-hand side, is just follow the people. Look at the direction to not to, and keep your head on straight. It takes a while. It gets a little confusing, but it takes a while. And, you know, the most important thing is just watch how the traffic is going to follow the traffic. But practice, as I said, in a low area, and then you can go to the main stuff. And make sure that you're always carrying your original driver's license and your international driver's license or permit. International driver's license does not replace the official driver's license. Instead, it translates the validity of your driver's license. It is not issued to people who don't have a valued driver's license. There's many um, things you may not be aware of in certain countries. We we'll just point out a few of uh, a few countries and some of the things that may be different to you. In Japan, there's a no splashing. It's illegal to splash pedestrian by mud puddle in Japan. So if there's raining or there's a puddle of water, just make sure you stay clear of it so you don't splash your pedestrian or you get a ticket. China, they uh, don't uh, care for the pedestrian because they don't stop for pedestrian. In Beijing, the law protects pedestrian not much. It's illegal for stopping for them. This makes it uh, road crossing very hazard for pedestrian. South Africa, animal crossing. In South Africa, um, it's not just pedestrian we have to watch for. For crossing, animals are given as much right to the road as drivers. Motorists, you know, are facing stiff fine if they fail to stop or slow down for passing herds of livestock. If you're in, if you're in Germany, as you know, in Germany has the Autobahn network, equivalent to our motorway, or some people have a high speed things. The only difference in the Autobahn, there's no speed limit. Stopping, breaking down for any reason is strictly illegal. Even running out of fuel, you have to make sure you have full tank of gas before you go on there because it's illegal to run out of gas. In Rome, 
getting a permit is very important because visiting historic sites in certain cities of uh, the Italian cities are subject to special permit. Drivers who ignore can place a hefty fine. So they've got these zones, you have to check. Sometimes your um, GPS does not explain it, but check in these tourist areas what special permits you need for driving in those areas. Do not leave your car door open longer than necessary in Oregon or that will be a fine. Keep it clean in Russia. In Moscow, it's all about cleanliness. Police impose fines on anyone with a dirty car. Dirty car meaning, you know, if there is mud on it and all those kind of stuff. There's no definition for what counts as filth. It's up to the police officer. Uh, so Russians, it's the best to keep your, um, your car in tip-top condition and to avoid penalties of cleaning your car. Wear a shirt. In Thailand, it's against a lot of drive without a shirt. In the United Arab Emirates, you have to give right away to the camel, if not the fine. In uh, serious um, drinking and don't drink and drive so we know of course alcohol is illegal for drinking and driving but in this country uh, you cannot drink water and drive also in Canada is the same problem you cannot eat or drink while driving leaving the lights on in North America Sweden and, and uh, most countries are changing to the new rule that your car light has to be on 24-7 means every time you're on the road the light has to be on some of the new North American cars automatically has a, a light that comes on at nighttime you can actually get a brighter light but there's light has to be on by law Saudi Arabia keep in mind women are not allowed to drive um, it's illegal for a woman to wear a house coat while driving in California tourist states like Nevada Hawaii Alaska California enforces law against driving too slow. In Denmark, it's a law. Motorists are required to check the lights, the brakes, the steering, the horn. The horn every time they get this done. Drivers also are required by law to check underneath their cars to make sure there's no sleeping children. Beijing, we know, has a big smog problem in many parts of China. So attempting to curb idling. So idling car is also illegal because of the pollution. Drivers are all liable and receive up to $5 fine in the end. Also a warning to stop for pedestrian is a fine. Smoking is banned in most work vehicles in the UK. Now in, in Greece, you cannot smoke or puff your cigarette is outlaw in Greece. Parking in Spain. In a one-way street in some Spain cities, you can only park on the side of the road where houses are unevenly numbered on in even days of month, and on the side of an uneven on even days. Red light rules. You may curse them, but you're running late. The red light means stop. Not stopping could cost uh, a fine, but in the U.S., you can turn on a red light as long as the uh, it's clear for traffic pedestrian. So the thing is the red light camera is in, in Canada, it's in um, Malaysia, it's in Guyana, it's in many countries throughout the world. So they, you have to stop for these red light cameras if not they charge you. Now the red light turning in the US, not in all states. Some states you cannot turn on a red light. Horns. While in some country constant use of horn is important, most useful effect in conjunction will call for languages directed to follow users. It may be surprised to you that many other, including UK, horns are banned at night and urban area. There is cities in Manhattan and New York that there's hefty fines for blowing your horn. Yet in you know, in other parts of New York, it's you hear it every two seconds people blowing their horn for no reason or not. Canada, Ontario, distracted driving, new rules, 2016. If you're caught looking at your phone, texting, talking on your phone while driving, checking the map, place, selecting your music, eating, reading, any type of um, destination on your GPS while you're behind the wheels, count the distracted driving. And they will put you in risk. So there's more things, even go. they go as far as talking to passengers in the car, 
They're talking about reading signs on the road. I mean, these are things that they have. It doesn't matter if you're on the highway or you're stopped at the traffic light. Distracted driving costs you money. The current fines of distracted driving is around $200 Canadian. Uh, those found guilty of distracted driving will face increased set of fine 490 treat the merit points uh, the G that means the learner ones the G1 G2 can cause suspension of their um, learning permit on the spot pedestrian co pedestrian crossing drivers have to wait until the pedestrians have completely crossed the road so until the pedestrian completely cross over on any cross road a uh, road any school crossing they have to physically be at the end of the other one when the feet touches the other side then you can proceed these are new traffic law from the ministry of transportation passing cyclists drivers will have to give cyclists at least one meter room wherever possible the fine for breaking this rule has not been set motorists uh, who open the doors on the vehicles into the uh, a path of a cyclist will be fined $365 and treat the merit points. The, the move over law, drivers are required to slow down and move in the next lane whenever there's an emergency vehicle. So if you hear a siren for the ambulance, the fire, the police, you see these things. Um, this applies to also tow trucks with the amber light. There is a fine of $490. Alcohol and drug caught under influence is very severe. Uh, these include up to three to 90 days of license suspension and 45, you know, more than 45% of the drivers killed in Ontario are found to be under drugs or alcohol. So just be careful of the countries you go and the, and the cities. Uh, one country may have a rule, but each province or state may have specific. So look at that area you're going, research a light. For example, the red light camera, sorry, the red light. Uh, certain countries, like for example, allow you to turn on a red light. You can turn right if you're in a left-hand drive, or if you're on a right-hand drive, you turn left. The problem is, some even in the same countries, some province, for example, may have you're allowed to turn right, and some says other province um, say no, you cannot. They charge you. And I give you a good example in in the state of New York. The state of New York. In upstate New York, you can turn right on a red light, but on the downstate New York, it's a fine. You turn right on a red light, they charge you in the same state. So just be careful, it's not just the city or the, pro sorry, it's not the state or the province. It could also be the city that you're in that may allow you. And right across the border from New York and New Jersey, you can turn right on a red light. So I mean, it's just that all kinds of things have the different rules. So these are just tips we want to tell you to be aware of check out the places also check when you're checking the new rules it's always good to check new rules look at the 2016 2017 or whatever year you're in and see what new laws that they put out so you don't break these laws because they will not you know they will not let you off these are not the days that they give people a warning because you're a foreigner or a tourist they don't care they will charge you a ticket they say it's your responsibility to know the rules before you go to that specific place so please don't get caught, don't waste your money, just spend a couple of minutes, research it, print it out, and study it.